Welcome everybody to my first show, and today I will be covering a theme that's been going on um, for a while lately about the uh, strange house from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 versions. It appears that it has um, come to many gamers' conclusions that the strange house residing a place where a girl was devastatedly killed in her nightmares. And what seems to be the common conclusion about this is that the Pokemon Darkrai is responsible for all this. If you walk through the house, you'll eventually go downstairs, which leads to a library. And it's optional, but you can also gander at six particular bookcases that will read about six different topics. One mentions a Pokedex entry about Hypno, another one mentions a Pokedex entry about Drowsy, and then one about Cresselia, and then finally a one about Darkrai. The thing about it is, is that, uh, it also mentions about Darkrai's... Uh, it mentions about the Lunar Wing on how it can dispel nightmares and how Nightmare actually gradually takes away HP through and through every turn gradually. This is a pretty creepy aesthetic when you think about it. When you... You'll encounter the girl a few times, which she will say quite a few creepy things, to be honest. Most in which sort of hint the case that she once lived with uh, her parents inside this... what is now a seemingly abandoned house, along with an Abra. Many gamers, especially... Pokemon fans seem to come to the conclusion that Darkrai is in fact responsible after hearing her encounters. In the first encounter, which you will see up on the top balcony, she will say, An everlasting dark dream. An endless dream of darkness. Dad? Mom? Abra? Where are you? On the second encounter, which I, I forgot, I'm, I'm sorry, where, where. The second encounter, she would say, In the dark dream, I heard my dad's voice. Forget about the lunar wing, please stay here with me. This indicates that perhaps maybe the family thought that using a lunar wing would save her. But obviously, as we can all clearly see, it either failed or they didn't bring the lunar wing in time. Many theories have gone about it. However, the third and final encounter you have with her, which is right after the player finds the lunar wing in the master bedroom, presumed, is where people draw to conclusions that Darkrai is in fact the one who caused all this. In the third encounter, she says, Oh, the Lunar Wing? I can't take it now, but it will be okay. Please return the wing to the Pokemon. I was waiting on the bridge so I could return it myself. Many, many gamers are convinced by this point that Darkrai was the cause of all this. And... To be honest, I could probably believe it myself. There are... If you want to know a few examples, actually, one famous game channel YouTuber, in particularly, known as Fawful's Minion, even was convinced that Darkrai was the one who killed this poor innocent girl. Little girl says, seals her entire coffin. Oh, Lunar Wing. I can't take it now, but it'll be okay. Are you kidding, Game Freak? Ha! 
was awful. Not only did this little girl die, she was subconsciously tormented. Those creepy words she uttered, that was probably her final plea for help. It's clear that she died in her sleep. She speaks of a horrible nightmare she had. There's a passage about the books that mention Darkrai. The Lunar Wing can't help her. Darkrai killed that little girl. Not just kill, but practically destroyed her with her own subconscious fears. However, I also kind of believe that this entire theory of Darkrai killing an innocent girl is a little... far-fetched. As we all know, Darkrai is a legendary Pokemon that actually resides from the Senna region. Actually, on New Moon Island, if I recall. Darkrai probably wouldn't spend any time in Unova trying to haunt an innocent girl for no apparent reason, especially since no reason was given. Another thing that kind of um, drops it is that um, if Darkrai wasn't the fact the cause of this, wouldn't Darkrai be encounterable? But as we all know, he isn't. The only way to obtain Darkrai was via event or Poke transfer. Another thing is that I have a feeling that Pokemon and Nintendo wouldn't actually want to do something like this unless they were trying to stir up controversy. It is true, Darkrai is a Pokemon that causes nightmares, and from what is explained in this girl's um, dreams and text, a dark creature did apparently kill her. However, it's also possible that maybe some other Pokemon who happens to know the attack Nightmare or even Dream Eater probably did this. It is true that Darkrai does have the ability, or so to speak, habit, to travel back to places it's familiar with or even goes to places that have nightmarish feels to it, as though it's attracted to them. However, this still doesn't make any sense. It's very far-fetched. There's no proof that Darkrai actually did it. And to... And what really convinced me that Darkrai isn't actually the one who did this is a Pokedex entry that was stated in Soul Silver and Heart Gold. It is... It is said that Darkrai is a Pokemon that will... Haste perpetrators out of its territory by giving them nightmarish slumbers, but it means no harm. Darkrai is a harmless Pokemon, and as stated by many observers, Darkrai's nightmarish slumber abilities is actually a defense me mechanism. So... Why would Darkrai just torment this innocent girl for no reason whatsoever but for the pleasure of killing her? Probably because he didn't. And that's pretty much it. I will admit, the Strange House is a creepy place, far more creepier than Lavender Town. Thank you for watching my first episode. Click, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos.